After a 23-3 regular season, the Roseau girls basketball team earned the two seed in the Section 8-2A tournament, which they promptly rolled through, winning by margins of 46, 32, 15, and 18. Now the Rams are headed back to state for the second straight year, looking to complete some unfinished business. Normally known as a hockey town, Roseau has put the state on notice in girls basketball the past two seasons, winning back-to-back -back Section 8 AA titles. It's fun to come to the gym, even just our regular season games, and hear people say, like, we had to come check you guys out. It means a lot just to show everyone that Roseau is more than just hockey and to get back down there and show everyone in the state what we can do. And after defeating DGF on Friday by 18 points for the section title. They made my job easy Friday night. You know, DGF was good, but I felt like we played pretty in control most of the game. The Rams are headed back to the state tournament. I'm super excited just because it's really rare in Roseau considering we're a hockey town. Of course it's thrilling, but um, I think there's a tone of some unfinished business. That unfinished business stems from a two-point loss in the third place game last year. We've had a goal all year. We've been talking about game 33, so we want to be playing on the last Saturday. Saturday in March and obviously hopefully that would be in the state championship game but they want to be playing on Saturday for sure. To get there the Rams will have to play team basketball that starts with a strong defense. We're gonna have to improve our defense a lot and just hit our shots. It's not a cliche you know defense wins championships. And they believe this is the team that could do something big. I know we can make it to the to the championship game if we play how we did against DGF. And this is something they have been preparing, these girls have been preparing for for years and so um, I think it would be very gratifying to see that dream realized. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.